Let's just get this set up. Okay, hello. My name is Kevin Gong. Today I'm going to tell you how I got into the universe. Dude, what the f is that? Give me a sec. I don't know why my room looks so disgusting. Let me change that. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, sorry if my room's a little bit messy. Uh, I'm not a super organized person. So, you know, that's my bad. Anyways, this is how I accidentally got into the University of Waterloo, specifically mechanical engineering. 2.19 on a Sunday, had to miss a couple class last week. You thought of us and always had me wondering. You got me up and I just got to sleep, look. Now, the title of this video might be a little confusing. How did someone accidentally get into a university, especially one like Waterloo Mechanical Engineering? If you came here for the secret on how to get into Waterloo, um, more or less unintentionally, then luckily for you, I don't know. First off, when I say accidentally, I don't mean like fully accidentally. Um, what I mean is that it was never really my intention to get into Waterloo University. Um, for context, I, I applied to three universities total, two of which were local to me, uh, SFU and UBC, and one of which, well obviously is Waterloo. The only reason I applied to Waterloo originally was because my parents wanted me to apply out of province. Um, and then being my parents, I was like, you know what, okay, sure, that's, that's not too much to ask for. So I was looking around for uh, different universities I could apply to, and Waterloo caught my eye. So I was like, you know what, I'll apply to this one. Um, I probably won't get in, so uh, unlucky, I guess. Spent $300 on the OUAC just for me to think that I wasn't getting in. like. And in retrospect, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. Now, the reason why I didn't think I would get in is because I didn't spend much time on my application. I'd already been so burnt out from answering all the UBC questions, as well as filling out the two other applications that I really couldn't find the, the energy to put more effort into my other one, which is Waterloo. So I ended up only spending like one or two days on my additional information form. After I applied, I had literally zero expectation of getting in. I just had the ability to say that I applied to Waterloo um, and that was good enough for me. But then, you know, I got in. So now I'm in the province that has hard water. Like what, what even is hard water? Is it water that's constantly aroused? I still don't know. If you clicked on this video, you're probably like me a few months ago, searching for YouTube videos on how to get into Waterloo um, to try to find some insight on how other people did it. Uh, however, when I say it was like me a few months ago, it was after I'd already got in because I wanted to gain some insight on how I got in specifically because I really didn't think I'd get in. You're also probably either desperate or stupid because who clicks on a YouTube video about someone who accidentally got into Waterloo? Like, you think I can help you? I don't even know how I got in. And it's been like three weeks now. Oh god, I have five more years of this. Alright, with the little spiel out of the way on how I can't help you get into Waterloo, can't give you any advice. Here's advice on how I got into Waterloo. <laughs> Let me preface this by saying that I'm not the greatest student. My grades aren't super impressive, they're, they're not astounding but at the same time, they're not bad. I believe my overall average for grade 11, 12 was something around 94%. I can put up like relevant grades right now. So you see like, like there, there's that grade for that course, that one, that one, you know, this one, maybe like, like one over here, here. Really, they're not super astounding. They're not impressive. In most YouTube videos I watched, they told you that if you wanted to be competitive, uh, you would need to have a 95% average or above. I had a 94. Um, now keep in mind, this is during COVID time. So right now we're still in the midst of a pandemic. So I don't know, grades fluctuate based on that. On a Sunday. Uh, for awards, I didn't really get anything. Um, most of them were just like uh, excellence in like specific subjects in high school, but I didn't even write those on my application because I didn't think they were relevant. Um, the only relevant award I put on there was honors with distinction, which means that you got like pretty much all um, A's throughout the year, uh, for every year. And um, yeah, that's it really. I didn't really get any awards. 
I didn't do a video interview. I didn't do any contest. I didn't join you to stay. Oh wait, no, I did. Um, I believe I joined the Steam Club, which was science, technology, um, EAM club. I also joined track and field for a little bit, did some running, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Nothing too big. I'd assume that like if you're watching this video, you already know what questions end up showing up on that form. But if you don't, there's one talking about your education goals and your interest in the program um, and your reasons for applying to Waterloo specifically. I, I talked about how my grade 11, 12 courses were based on going into engineering. Throughout high school, I, I was trying to better myself through like uh, academics, through, through leadership, trying to gain honors of distinction every single year, stuff like that. I also talked about solving problems with people for people. And that's one of the main things that they really want out of you at Waterloo. For engineering specific questions, um, they talk about your engineering interests and goals. Um, and I talked about how at first I, I felt really lost and you know, like still am and right now still am. I told them how mechanical engineering caught my eye because it's all about problem solving and working with other people like I said earlier. I wrote down as a gifted student, you know, if you didn't know, I was gifted. It's, it's like whatever, like elementary, middle school, high school, they, they like pull me out of class, make me make a bridge from toothpicks, make me throw eggs off a ruse. So, you know, like being gifted was cool. Also gave me severe imposter syndrome and uh, you know, but like I was gifted, so. <laughs> I wrote down that because I was gifted, I found myself in constant situations uh, where I, I had to like problem solve a lot. I did a lot of leadership in high school, so um, I found that a lot of the concepts with leadership and planning out events, problem solving along the way, thinking about things logically helped me. And that a lot of these concepts I saw were still applied within engineering. Uh, so, you know, there's that. The real reason I think I got into Waterloo was because of my leadership experience. In any of the other fields, I was not an impressive candidate at all. I didn't stand out in any way. I didn't have any technical skills beforehand to do with engineering. Um, my grades were average. My interview was non-existent, but the thing that stood out the most is my leadership. The things that I wrote down in this application were things like fundraisers or events I planned. Specifically, I wrote down that I planned a bottle drive with my friends where we organized a big group of volunteers. We went around giving out flyers, collecting bottles, sorting them, all to raise money for BC Children's Hospital. And then in grade 12, I did an event with two buddies um, called Sleep Out, uh, pretty much raising awareness for homeless youth in Vancouver. We partnered up with the, the newspaper, the local newspaper, local newspaper? I don't even know, the newspaper, Tri-City News, and also uh, Covenant House, the organization. I'll put up their stuff right here. So, there you have it. I got into Waterloo University accidentally. Now, is that a good or a bad thing? Who's to say? No, I'm to say, it's bad. It's fucking bad here, man. Help me, get me, get me out. Uh, Two nineteen on a Sunday. Had to miss a couple class last week. Even thought of us and always got me wondering. You got me up at night, trying to go to sleep. Look, what? I miss the good, the bad, and all these late nights that we should have had, and all these big talks that we.